Hey guys, Electron Man. Okay, uh, we're going to do a little review of this 1275, as I promised. 12-795 Radio Shack shortwave all band receiver. What I'm going to do is, is I'll edit it out, but I'm just going to start tuning. And uh, and I'm only going to show you a little clip as I pick a channel up, kind of show you what it's picking up. We're going to start out with shortwave. For me, that's the most probably important part of shortwave. So we'll just start out at shortwave and we'll just uh, work through the whole shortwave band and then we'll go through... Uh, check a couple other bands or all the bands and see how they do and I'll edit it down to where you're just seeing where it stops and see how clear it is etc and then I'll give you a final synopsis of what I think of the radio after we're done with that so let's go ahead and get started on it we'll go ahead and power it up pretty weak but what I'm looking not at strong is station there junk. foreign Song for this prior Parsons. And folks, I want you to picture. We'll soon begin to shine. Uh, ten or what? Ten of them on a shortwave one and two. Of course, that only covers from what? Uh, basically, three megahertz to twelve megahertz. So, eh. Okay, let's go ahead and go back and check the AM now. We'll just start all the way at the top of the dial, and we'll work our way back down this way. There's one. Four for sure. Okay, well that covers the AM. Let's go CB. I don't know if we're going to get anything on CB. Over uh, modulate, I couldn't really get anything out of it. There was something there. I mean, obviously it's receiving in that area. Just These radios, typically I haven't found one yet that I'm impressed with. I'll pick it up CB. Very good sounding. Great, great FM sound. In addition to being incredibly informative, it's really fun. Three. FM really good. We'll go to the air, which is actually right, starting right here. What is that? It actually covers uh, FM and air. Now we'll go to TV2, VHF, and weather channel. Weather. Which, we'll see if that has anything on it. I doubt it. I don't know. Let's see. Are really different between Germany and today. Five. Interesting. That, that goes through the whole scanning process. Kind of just wanted to show you what she'll do. <clears throat> Cons doesn't have any VFO. Uh, not a very wide range on the short wave. You're only getting basically three through twelve megahertz not real good sensitivity it's okay i got what 10 or 11 channels i mean acceptable but i've got lots of radios that do better but i mean this is off the shelf and uh <clears throat> i mean it's not a it's not a high-end radio i would say it's decent um <clears throat> other cons afc doesn't do squat i'd rather have a, a an alc or something that uh does it better on the on the sound, it doesn't really seem to limit much static or anything in it. Um, wish I had a backlit dial. I think that's a negative. The uh, meter's kind of weird. It uh, it's backwards to what you'd think. When there's nothing, it goes anyway. It's not counterintuitive. I put it that way. A big disappointment on shortwave. I don't like the span on it. 
Um, it's super sensitive, kind of hard to, to dial in. I mean, if, if it's your first shortwave radio, yes, get it. It's It works. It's not bad. Um, this would be a good place to start. I'd say it's a good entry-level shortwave radio. Uh, on the positive side, it's got great tonal quality. Um, FM is awesome. Really good ears on the FM side of things. Does great on FM. AM, not bad. I mean, it gets all the main news talk radio basically stations on AM, so it does good on that. Um, I like the portability. It's got, you know, three-way power. It's got a 12-volt cigarette lighter plug. It's got D-cell batteries, and it's got a built-in AC plug in to the wall. So definitely versatile on the power side of things. Um, I like the aesthetics of it. Um, this antenna definitely does work good and probably even work better outside of a steel building. So um, I think that's a positive. I mean, it, it definitely is a directional antenna. I can tell it definitely helps pull in channels. I mean, I think if you were sitting out on a park bench somewhere, this radio wouldn't be bad. It's not the greatest radio. Um, I think probably my biggest disappointment, I don't like the, uh, the sensitivity and the tuning. I think it's uh, too narrow. Um, you need a little more width in there so that you can, you know, fine tune them. It's like you can, you got to really just kind of tweak, just tap, tap, tap to get it right on the channel. It's a little too sensitive there. Um, other than that, I mean, I think this is like a four-star radio. Uh, like I said, uh, the real shortcomings are uh, shortwave, too small of a narrow of a, of, of a band for all the shortwave, not real sensitive, um, and it, I really could use a backlit display. If I hadn't said that before, but uh, it's not. The channel comes in strong on it, so that's good. So if you want to use it for weather monitoring and just to listen to FM radio and maybe an occasional AM radio, this thing's awesome. Uh, it's just not what I would call a, a you know, a shortwave band scanner. It's definitely not in that range. It's just kind of an added feature. And you know, the TV one and two is kind of a waste because everything's went digital basically on TV. Although I did pick up a few channels in there, but. Uh, it's almost a waste of two bands there and uh cb you know unless there's a trucker down the street from you, you're probably not going to get much there especially with the narrowness of the tuning i think i covered it all there guys hopefully you enjoyed this uh, this is kind of a two-part one i prepared it and now i went back and uh reviewed it i mean i could go in there and tune it but it seems like it's pretty good in tune pretty much straight up and down and i don't think you're going to get a lot more out of this radio i think it's just uh it's definitely a lower end i mean i showed you the inside of it the circuitry it's not a in any way a high-end receiver it's good fm i mean if you just wanted a tabletop ready to listen to fm and jam it on that this is your guy right here because it does have really good sound real full real loud anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this video uh give me a thumbs up if you did uh, and uh please hit that bell so you know when the next video i got coming out and uh give me a like have a great day guys this is electron man